newest edition of The Insider, the ongoing video series that keeps you up to date on all things IPW. I'm your host, J-Rod. Vander Mill Cider hosted a packed house for Grave Danger 3, our third annual Halloween celebration. Since becoming head matchmaker of IPW, Josh Raymond has appeared to struggle with the role. At Pink Out, we dealt with a drunken and unprofessional showing from Terry Van Avery. Then Raymond failed to come to terms in negotiations for the contracts of Carter Gray and Aaron Orion. Raymond would enter the ring with Van Avery to share that Orion would not be present in the main event, but he had been replaced by the Colonel of Clapping Cheeks, LaDon Sanders. Due to Raymond's failures, the board of directors have lost a lot of confidence in Raymond, and this prompted them to hire someone to work as a co-matchmaker with Raymond. That individual was a returning Jeremiah Goldmain. Goldmain hasn't been seen in IPW since mid-2021. He entered the ring to berate Raymond and his bitter rival, Terry Van Avery, whom he feuded with for most of 2021. Raymond was disgusted with his new colleague, and it is unlikely that these two will be a cohesive unit as their moral values have been complete polar opposites of each other. IPW fans retreated to a title match in the first bout of the evening. The specimen Chad Alpha and Jeremiah Nazareth finally met on their collision course. This all stemmed from Nazareth failing to recruit Alpha to the Forgotten. Alpha had control of the action. It looked like he was on his way to taking the Michiana Championship, but Nazareth was able to roll up Alpha with a handful of tights to pull off another tainted but official title defense. The Dark Gentleman made his debut in the main event of IPW Homecoming against Jeremiah Nazareth. The Dark Gentleman believes that the nerves of his debut got the better of him and asked for a second shot at Nazareth and the Michiana Championship. Nazareth came to the ring to give a straight and clear answer, no. One man did want to give the Dark Gentleman a match, and that man was one half of the IPW Tag Team Champions, Keith Cream. The fans were surprised with an excellent contest between two game athletes. Keith may be a tag team champion, but without his partner, he was a little in over his head. With thunderous applause, the Dark Gentleman scored a great win. Following the match, the forgotten blind signed at the Dark Gentleman and made him aware of the consequences that come from calling out Nazareth. Next up, the women. Davis and Sarai versus Blair Onyx. If there was ever a wrestler fit to compete at a Halloween-themed event, it was Blair Onyx, and Blair was impressive in her debut, but Davis and Sarai would be the one to add another notch to her win column. Casey Tempest and Jarris Gray of The Forgotten were offered the opportunity to make their leader proud as they took on the team of Anton Nathan and Trevor Kagi. Nathan had been seen in IPW before, but this would be our first chance to see what Kagi had to offer. The Forgotten did have the advantage of recent competition on their side, but Kagi and Nathan were very rusty, and that may have been the deciding factor. The Forgotten was victorious. A sober Terry Van Avery would conduct the IPW raffle, costume contest, and fan sign contest without any issue this time. Still, Josh Raymond and Jeremiah Goldmain forced their way between Terry and the microphone and took over his duties. Afterward, Terry would finally offer an apology to Josh Raymond and the fans, promising that he would get his act together in time for the lifting of his suspension. Jason DeMilo demanded that the crowd get on their feet and bow their heads for his arrival to ringside. DeMilo would meet a returning Anderson Knight, fresh off competing in the Scottish Highland Games. Anderson Knight was clearly in the best shape of his career and bigger and stronger than we had ever seen him before. He returned to the ring with a huge victory. Knight is expected to compete on November 19th at Warfare. He is, as always, a formidable opponent for anyone in his path. A 20-plus year friendship imploded at war on the shore when Max Morrison betrayed Jimmy Shawin and joined the Forgotten. These two would finally get the opportunity to throw down in a tables match. Shawin and Morrison beat each other from pillar to post until Casey Tempest and Jairus Gray ran down to ring to assist Morrison. It seems the people who have crossed paths with the Forgotten have banded together once again as the Dark Gentleman and Chad Alpha rush to the ring together to even the odds. Jeremiah Nazareth did not show his face, leaving Morrison to finally have to fight Shaw Wynn on his own to the finish. In the end, Shaw Wynn got his vengeance and chokeslammed Max Morrison through a table for the big victory. 
The biggest main event in IPW history was finally upon us. The Black Diamond Jack Price versus Supreme Jamal King versus Swag Champ Ren Jones versus Adam Evan Wick versus the IPW champion Derek Wolf versus the Colonel of Clapping Cheeks LaDon Sanders in a six man elimination match for the IPW championship. Derek Wolf entered the ring fifth, holding the mangled iPad he used to hit Carter Gray at pink out and gave a speech promising to hit LaDon Sanders with it. Sanders then made his arrival, dodged Wolf's attempts to take his head off, then kicked the iPad right into Wolf's face. LaDon Sanders would finally get revenge against Wolf by pinning Wolf in the center of the ring to eliminate him from the match and putting an end to Wolf's title reign, which only lasted a pathetic 20 days. The shortest title reign in IPW history. The Grand Rapids crowd roared with cheers, and Derek Wolf had to be escorted out of the arena to keep him from interfering in the match. Next to be eliminated would be Jack Price, when Adam Wick allowed Ren Jones to hit his pump handle powerbomb on Jack, but pitched Jones out of the ring to ensure he would be the one to eliminate Price. Immediately after Price's elimination, Price's ally, Jamal King, would avenge Price by eliminating a distracted Adam Wick. To the fans' disappointment, LaDon Sanders' underdog story would come to an end as he was eliminated next by Ren Jones. As we came down to the final two, it looked like Jamal King was going to do the unthinkable. Jeremiah Nazareth and Jairus Gray appeared once again, this time to help Jamal King. King finally gave his answer to Nazareth about joining the Forgotten. As he unloaded punches on Nazareth, King attempted to put an exclamation mark at the end of his answer by the way of his last ride powerbomb on Jairus Gray, but Jeremiah Nazareth caught King from behind and made him pay the ultimate price for declining Nazareth's offer. Nazareth hit his big move on Jamal King, then left King for dead as Ren Jones capitalized and picked up the biggest victory of his IPW career. It looks like Ren Jones will end 2022 the same way he started it, as IPW champion. With no top contender waiting on deck, we could potentially see a long reign for Swag Champ this time. Ironically, Derek Wolf has demanded a match with LaDon Sanders, who he has refused to face in the ring until now. Unfortunately for Wolf, the medics diagnosed Wolf with a concussion in his post-match physical examination, and he has been placed on a 30-day medical suspension, making him unable to compete at warfare. As for King and the Forgotten, they will have a chance to get their hands on each other. Jeremiah Nazareth will lead the Forgotten members Casey Tempest and Jairus Gray into battle against a team of three led by Jamal King, featuring Chad Alpha and the Dark Gentleman. Jack Price agreed to be the fourth man, but due to a vicious attack on Price by Adam F. and Wick at the conclusion of Grave Danger, Price has been injured and is nowhere near cleared to compete. While Max Morrison was supposed to fight alongside the Forgotten, but is on the injured list as well. That concludes this edition of The Insider. Join us on Saturday, November 19th at Ruggers Up and Under in downtown Kalamazoo, Michigan, as IPW presents Warfare.